are here with Congresswoman Sandy Adams from Central Florida um, at the CPAC conference in Washington, D.C. How have you enjoyed the conference so far? Enjoyed it. Loving to be around with everyone and the conservative discussions that are taking place as a wonderful place. Okay, great. I know that you've had a chance to uh, talk to a lot of um, my fellow bloggers and they've enjoyed talking to you. Um, I know one thing that's distinguished your career is just a practical sensibility and good fiscal conservatism. And um, I know I'd, I'd like to talk to you about, there's a bill that you just sent out a press release today. Um, if you could tell us a little bit about that bill and, and what it's about. Well, you know, back in June, the NLRB was saying that they were going to invoke a rule to require businesses, employers, to give up the employees' phone numbers and email addresses. And they, while they backed off of it, they're now signaling after these latest appointments that we believe are unconstitutional, that they are now going to move forward with that rule, which is an invasion of privacy for the American citizens and the employees. The employees should have the ability to say yes or no, but this rule that they want to invoke would say that every employer would have to give the NLRB and the unions your their employees phone numbers and email addresses. That's an invasion of privacy. We found a bill to stop that, so it would not happen. Okay, and um, how long is that bill? How long is the text of that bill? The actual text of the bill is probably about one paragraph. Okay, so if it's on a page or two, I, I got that in the email. I'll include the link below. Make sure to read it. And what else is in the bill? Does it address any other subjects at all? No. Okay, so we have a specific problem and a one-two page bill that addresses that problem and then nothing else. Correct. Okay, just for the record everyone, this is an actual member of Congress that put forward a one-page bill that addresses one problem and nothing else. Don't believe you when they say it's not possible. <laughs> okay, great. Well, thinking of things that are possible and impossible, we always have the crazy elections in Florida, and it looks like now that your race for election in District 7 has got a little more interesting this week. If you can tell me a little bit about that. Well, as you know, District 24 has changed a slight bit. It was um, redrawn to include more of the western area, and we we're very happy to see that we had most of, uh, well, all of Seminole County and it was sad to lose parts of the Space Coast and all that with the redraw, but we announced uh, a little over a week ago, almost two weeks ago, that we were going to run for re-election in our current 24 that had been redrawn with the number 7 on it. Basically the same district, expanded differently uh, with a different number. This week I was informed that Chairman Mikey is going to run for the same seat. So it has been an interesting week, and I think there's a clear distinction between someone who's been in Congress 20 years and someone who has come to Congress within the last year to change the way Washington works, because we all know Washington is working. I don't want to ever become part of the problem. I want to continue to be part of the solution. Well, that's great. Where can people go to find out more about your campaign? www.sandyadams.com. I encourage you all to go there. We need your help. It is going to be a battle, and it is going to be truly a battle for America. We need to change the way Washington works, and together we can do that. Join us, www.sandyadams.com. I look forward to your help and support. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much. It was good to see you at CPAC. You too. Thank you. Bye.